Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafting Me Easy. For this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this acrylic keychain look like this. Stand by. The supplies you will need for this tutorial is some beach sand. I got this from Dollar Tree. Um, some craft seashells. I believe I got this off of Amazon. Some alcohol inks. I have uh, my favorite, Caribbean. Um, my other favorite, rainbow, teal, and white. Um, some UV resin. A keychain. A charm, if you wish. Some medicine cups. Of course, the acrylic keychain, and I got those off of Amazon. And then you'll need a UV lamp, or you can use natural sun, but it does take, for this one, it takes about five to 20 minutes for it to cure in the sun. Under UV, it takes two to four minutes. So, oh, you'll also need like a paintbrush or something to um, put the re resin onto your acrylic um, keychain. All right, so the first step is You'll just take off the plastic because it comes with a plastic covering on both sides of the um, acrylic. And that's to prevent any scratching or anything like that. So you'll take that part off. All right, you'll also need some gloves. So let me go ahead and grab some gloves. Now the UV resin is not, um, it's a chemical, but it's not, um, as strong as like um, epoxy or anything like that. It's basically like the UV resin you use to put on your nails and stuff like that. So it's kind of up to you um, if you want to use a mask or a respirator or anything like that. I don't typically use one when I use UV resin. Um, also, and like I said, you can get the sand from Dollar Tree. They have all different co colors. The white one, black, red. I think they have green. So you can use any. Um, they also have seashells too. But I haven't seen any little ones like this. So, um, you know, just check your local dollar store. All right. So the first thing that I did, because I was testing it out on this one, just to kind of see if it would work. And it did turn out to um, look exactly how I wanted it to look. All right, so what I did is I just put on some UV resin onto the thing. And I did put, the first time I did it, I put um, a Q-tip stick in here to kind of stop the um, resin from going into the hole. Um, but I also put it into the UV lamp and it got hard and it was kind of like a little struggle to get the Q-tip out. Um, but I was able to get it out, but it had like a little rough lip on the, um, hole. So I think what I'm going to do is take it out before, and I'm just cutting a Q-tip. It goes, um, into the lamp and that's just to prevent any, um, resin from getting into the hole. All right. And so you're just going to paint around it. And if you want to, you can put it on the sides. If you don't want to, you don't have to put it on the sides. It's totally up to you. Basically, you just want to make sure you get all of the UV resin all around the base. All right. And then the next step... is to put a little sand and the first time I did it I put a little glue in the um, resin I'm going to try it without the blue and this can get messy But I am a messy crafter, as I have stated in other videos. <laughs> so. And you put as much um, sand as you want. Some of the sand may get on the ends, like the, um, you know, the sides and stuff like that. 
I think it's okay because it just brings out um, more of the realistic feel of the um, of the um, keychain. I use a lint brush sometimes to get it up or a card, but you can always shake this off. I'm just going to do it a little bit to kind of get some of it out of my way. All right. All right, and then the next thing is you'll just put a little bit of resin into the medicine cup. You don't have to put a lot because the keychain is not that big and you won't even really use a lot of it. And I'm getting the popsicle stick. You can always break the popsicle sticks to kind of save um, money. I'm going to use the teal. And you just put in, um, as many drops as you want to to make it darker. And these are pinata. The teal is pinata. The um, Caribbean, let me shake this up a little bit, is um, marabou. And you can get these from anywhere. You can get... Um, the Marabou, I've seen them on Amazon. I have not seen the Rainbow from Marabou on Amazon. I purchased mine through, um, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, shoot. Oh, Mr. Nola's Glitters. That's where I purchased my um, whole Marabou set and the Pinata set. And um, the reason why I purchased it from them was because you can, they can, you can pay through Sizzle and it'll take it out like every two to four weeks out your account right, and you just mix it up all right and then i'm just going to put the caribbean color right next to the sand Tip of the sand, and then I'm going to put the teal right on top so it can look like you know it's in the darker part of the ocean. If you're watching this video and you have not um, subscribed to my channel, but you like the content that is um, on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to be notified for when I drop new videos. And then if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Right, you're just going to keep putting this around. I love, 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 love the beach, but unfortunately, oh, we have not been able to go. <laughs> but I love, I think I'm going to put some more of the blue. Usually I mix too much. Last time when I did that one, I mixed too much. And now for the video, I didn't mix enough. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. And I've had this bottle since November. And, um,. It doesn't take a lot of the UV resin to do a project. And I just purchased some more because I think I'm going to do some more um, projects with it. But this bottle, I'm telling you, I think is like half full. And I've had it since um, November. So you can get a lot out of it. All right. And then the next step is the white. Now the white is pretty tricky because I just want it to be like little lines. Um, let me get a toothpick. Okay. And you 
can use, uh, oh shoot, almost dropped it. You can use um, a straw to get the line, not the lines, to move it around and make it look wavy. I'm just putting, using the um, toothpick to kind of low, you know, put the lines of like the waves. clouds or the waves whatever you want to make it at the top or wherever um like i was saying to move the white around um you can use a straw you can just kind of move your toothpick around i use compressed air to do that one and um yeah, it was too much air <laughs> and it kind of moved it around too much. So I'm not sure I'm going to do that again um, because it kind of blew my UV stuff all over the place. So I was like, oh my God. But um, I was able to kind of push it back onto the um, acrylic. Let's see how that's trying to go into the hole i don't want it to go in the hole um and then the rainbow so the rainbow kind of gives it that sparkle and the rainbow will move your um stuff around i'm not sure what is different about the rainbow but it moves the um alcohol inks around so you'll see what i'm what i'm talking about if the camera picks it up So you see how it kind of is moving the stuff around uh, my toothpick. So I'm going to have to, you see how it's spreading it? So I'm just going to have to mix it back in and that's fine. So I don't, I have not figured out what is in this rainbow. But it does that on my tumblers too. So that's kind of one way to move your stuff around if you want to. But now my waves kind of look all wonky. But let me see if I can put some more white in there. But it has that sparkle that I want. I still want that white to look like it's rolling waves. And the blue still went into my um, sand, which is fine. I think I might put a little sparkle in there. Ooh. Okay. So, that's that part. And then... Okay, so I want to make sure I got all my UV on here. Well, no, I'm not going to add no, any more. All right, so what I'm going to do before we add the seashells is we're going to get our stuff set up. Move this out of the way. And... I'm trying to remember if I added the seashells before I put it under there or not. Let's see. Um, I don't think I did. I think I waited until Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some. Okay. And so I'm going to try it a different way. Because I think the first time I did it, I added the shells after I put it in the UV. But I'm going to try it a different way. Alright. And 
this piece of sand for some reason does not have any UV on it. All right, so this piece of sand did not get any resin on it. Okay, so you wanna make sure everything is pretty much covered in the UV resin. And I'm just kind of smearing it. I'm just wiping around the rim because it had like a little glob there. All right. I just want to make sure it looks exactly how I want it to look. Move some of this color up. Move some of that around. Okay, so let's see. I don't want it to go inside the hole. All right, so I might have to just leave the stick in for right now. And as you see, some of the um, stuff leaked on the other side, but that's fine because the other side is protected by that um, plastic sheet, so it doesn't really matter if you get um, some on there. And this particular UV lamp has a um, unlimited time, 60 seconds and 120 seconds. So I'm going to put it on 120 seconds first, and then I'm going to do it again, and I'll be back. All right, so it has cured for um, two no, 240 seconds, um, so four minutes. So then this is the final look without the keychain. That is so freaking pretty. I wish y'all can really like see it. Um, and nothing is falling out. The seashells are stuck on there. Everything is stuck on there. Um, I did take the um, Q-tip piece out when it was in the uh, UV lamp, the first part. And maybe like, I want to say 10 seconds in, I was trying to pull it out and it wouldn't even pull out. So it cures pretty quickly. Um, it did leave like a hump. I'm not sure if you can see it. So it's like a little hump right there. But you can probably take like, because um, it peels pretty easily. And I'm just using like an X-Acto knife really carefully. Do not try this at home <laughs> type thing. Yeah, it's just, it's coming off real easy. I'm just gently going over the hump to make it flush and it's coming off pretty easily. Because it's not, it's basically, it was not stuck to anything but the Q-tip stick. So, yeah. But you can probably take like a nail file um, and file it down as well. If you decide to go with the um, q-tip method now on the back as you see like some of it spilled on the back but like I said that's not an issue because it has the plastic sheet on it if I can find it oh my goodness yeah there we go so it has the plastic sheet on there so the spillage is not actually on the acrylic so that's not an issue all right so if you wanted to like with this one I put a um, decal on the back that says My Zen. So you can put a decal on the back if you want to. If you don't want to, um, then your keychain is basically done and you just slip your um, key ring through it and put it on your keys and keep it moving. Or you can put it on a Christmas tree as an ornament. So you can put a ribbon through it and hang it from a tree if that's what you wanted to do. Um, so that would be really cute as well. And if you wanted to, you could put a decal on the back that says maybe like first Christmas or beach Christmas or, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Um, so it's kind of totally up to you. Um, I like mine as keychains and I do want to put a decal on the back. I've already cut this out, weeded it out and put the transfer tape on it. Um, I do have videos showing how to do vinyl decals. I will probably do um, some other ones coming up soon. Um, but basically, and this is um, vin premium vinyl holographic. I think I got this from, I think this is a Cricut brand or maybe it was Joann's. 
uh, the wrapper. I threw the wrapper in the trash. But um, it may be Cricut um, or Joann's because I remember Joann's had a sale a long time ago um, where they oh shoot, vinyl was like $2 a roll. So I brought a whole bunch. So it may be that or Cricut. But you can find holographic vinyl pretty much anywhere. Before you put your decal on, don't be like what I was about to do. You want to take off your plastic sheet. So, and it's kind of stuck up there. There we go. All right, so you want to take your plastic sheet off. And then you want to put your decal or um, if you don't, like I said, if you don't want to decal, make sure you take your plastic sheet off anyway. So, um, I love the way that it's shining. Oh my goodness. I wish y'all could see how it's shining through the back. Um, that's what the back looks like. So if you wanted to, um, if you didn't want to put a decal or anything, then you could just remember to take the plastic back off. Um, then you'll, for this one, I'll just go ahead and line up. And I actually made this too big. So. Yeah, I think it's too big that way too. Alright, so what I'm going to do is. What I thought I was going to do. Is <laughs> lay down beach first. Alright, oh. I'm doing a video. I'm going. Sorry about that, my daughter. I don't know if I can call her, but no, I do not. So my piece still ended up laying down, which is just about to be a pain. All right. But, uh, I'm gonna pick my pee up, girl. Okay. So, of course, things just go wrong when I'm recording. Any other time that works for me. But, of course, since I'm recording, the pee wanted to lay down as well. And then it's like really old stuff on here. There we go. Alright, so... So when you um, cut your vinyl or your decal, make sure it fits. I have to move that down. Huh? Yeah, I'm having to move that P again. Don't be like me. Don't make it too long. All right, I'm going to have to move my pee. Again. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. And you can put initials. You can put... Um, nothing on the back like i said it's totally up to you but if you do put something on the back this is the next step is important all right oh that was so pretty okay so the next step is uh protecting your decal now the decal is this is um permanent so permanent vinyl typically lasts um, and you don't have to really protect it if you don't want to. However, if it's on a key ring or anything like that, it's going in and out of your bag or your purse or something. Um, it has the tendency to pull your letters up. So I like to protect them. If this was like an ornament or anything like that, it's going to be hung on a tree and then you're going to put it away. So um, it's kind of up to you if you want to protect it. I probably wouldn't um, if it was just going to be like an ornament or anything like that. But since it's going to be on a key ring, I'm going to um, protect the backing. All right, so all you'll do is put some UV resin on it. And you want to make sure you have enough to cover up your vinyl. So kind of like with epoxy, you don't want it to um, be, you don't want to feel your vinyl. And 
and just be weary of the hole. And you can go around the edge with it or you don't have to go around the edge with it. I'm going to pick this up cause so I can make sure I'm getting all around it. And you can paint on it or you can not paint on it. You can um, use the paintbrush or the brush or you can do like I was just doing and tilting it to the side to make sure you get an even coat. And because it's so clear, it's hard to tell where it's at. Oh, that's why I picked it up. And a little dig it on the side, so I'm just going to move it on the side. You don't have to do that, but if you notice that some of it spills a little bit, then just uh, let it go. <laughs> don't fight it. And because the seashells make it a little uneven, put something on on it to kind of make it even. And like I said, I'm going to just go around the sides with it. Watch your keyhole. too high there we go i don't think it was too high it was pulling all right oh, thank you. and the cleanup is easy all right so the next thing same as the um, when you did the front you'll just put it in the uv lamp for four minutes and um come back to it from amazon it came with um several different rings big ones small ones medium size and it also has the links on them as well so you can use um, a keychain like this I believe I brought these heart ones off of Amazon as well they have different kinds and with the heart one it kind of just pushes open like that and then they just clamp it on to whatever um, you know to their main key ring or what have you um, put that out the way. all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to because I really like the little heart key ring key um, thing so I'm going to use that again and I'm just going to take the link from this one and it's easy. I can actually take my gloves off, but they're on. So I'm just <laughs> going to leave them on. The um, biggest pain is getting this jump ring onto the keychain. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some needle nose pliers and you're going to open it as wide as you can, like really wide as you can. So it can actually fit, what is this on here? So it can fit into the hole. There we go. So it looked like something was on my mat. Oh no, I think that's baby wipes. Okay, I got it. It was I wiped it with um baby wipe and some of the baby wipe got on there, but it's gone now. So then what you're gonna do once you have it looped in, you're going to I told you this was the pain part right here. And you're just gonna take one end is going to hold the jump ring in place. Oh my goodness. And the other one is going to twist it. 
It doesn't matter which side you move as long as it moves <laughs> and you close your germ ring. not want to close. Alright, so I'm going to pick a different needle nose plier. Now you have to make sure your ring closes. Alright, there we go. And then make sure it's flush. So to make it flush, I just go inside and pinch it. And then it's flush. All right, so I hope that was caught on the camera. All right, so you'll do that. And then for this part, it's not as bad, but you can always put a jump ring right here and then um, put it onto the link. But I just open up the link. So you go to where you can open up the link and you do it, you treat it just like a jump ring. You take one side, one side holds it, and the other side twists. And I don't think I twisted it open enough. And you want to again make sure you twist it open enough to where whatever you're fitting through it, you can get through it. This is kind of chunky and the link is kind of small. So there we go. Like I said, you can always put a jump ring on it. Oh shoot. <laughs> you can always put a jump ring on it so you don't lose the link like I just think I did. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, so my link popped off. All right, so, oh, here it is, okay. So no worries, it was on the table. All right, so. And it'll probably be easier just to add a jump ring, but I know I can do it because I did it on the other one. I just have to be patient. Now let me get it into the camera. And then you'll basically do like before and just close it. And because I'm have to um, widen it so much, that's why it's not closing, meeting up and closing. But you'll just take, you know, two jump, two not two jump rings, two um, needle nose pliers, and then um, force it back close. And again, you want to make sure your link closes. Otherwise, everything you just did was for naught. All right, let's see. All right, now I know it, it, I can do it because I did it on the other one. But for some reason, every time you press go or play on the freaking camera, it don't want to work the way it did when it was off camera. Alright, so basically I'm just trying to close this link. Alright, there we go. Alright, so it's done. Your keychain is together. You have your key ring on there. Um, I did want to add a charm. I don't know what I do with my little fish. It was sitting up here the whole time. Did I put it away? Oh, here it is. Okay. So to add a charm, you'll just do it the same way. You'll just get um, you just get another chain link. We'll open this up. And you'll put your little charm through there. And you can put whatever, a charm, lip gloss, a puff, a tassel. I had pretty much all of that, but I wanted to keep the theme. 
and I don't even know if I got that on camera, but as you see, the jump ring clothes way easier than um, the links do. All right. And I kind of like to, um, and you can put another jump ring on here if you want to, to make it easy. But I like to, and I'm actually gonna remove a link because I think that's too long. So I'm gonna take this one off. I didn't mean to drop it on the floor, but I'll pick it up. All right. So I'm just going to add it to the second one, and I want the fish to face out. So just add it to the other link and you'll just do it like you did before oh goodness I do not like these needle no these ones the these red ones came in a kit and they are like a three in one so they cut they crimp and they um, are used as needle nose pliers I don't like them a lot and I rarely use them I don't even know why I'm struggling <laughs> to use them in this video but um yeah beware when you get kits and they come with tools some of them aren't very good And you just want to, again, make sure that the link closes. I didn't struggle this much before. Okay. Um, and that's it. So there is your keychain. And you can always, like I said, use a jump ring. I have several jump rings. I just don't want, I just did not want to use um, any. If you've seen my bracelet video, you know I have like a ton of jump rings. Um, so you can use jump rings to put your stuff on like I have the split ones and the regular ones But I just didn't want to um, add one um, You can add it up here and then let it hang further down. You can put your charm. It's kind of up to you It's makers choice or where you want to put it at. So that's pretty much. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one y'all so <laughs> That's pretty much um, it so there you go. And then that's the little charm. Yeah, it does not want to, there we go. So the fish. And I think I got the charms off Amazon. Yeah, I think it came in like a kit of um, a whole bunch of beach things like starfish, um, seashells, um, starfish, seashells, fish, and it was something else that it came with. Um, but yeah, I think I got it off of Amazon. I, if I can find a link, I'll put it in the description box below. But at any rate, this is your keychain in the back. So I hope you like this tutorial. Um, if you did like this content of this video, go ahead and hit the um, thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, but you're watching this, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification bell to be notified for when I drop new videos. I kind of like this one a little bit better because the water is darker. But anyway, y'all, again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.